Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. So we're going to do something fun here. Uh, this is city car driving and what you're looking at, it's a mod. It's a modification that somebody used and created. Uh, this is a Russian bus that's uh, in Russia. I guess the person who probably designed this bus, uh, it's from Russia. So anyway, uh, it's a mod bus that's created but what's so cool about this mod is the fact that I can be in the center I can adjust my uh, view of the VR and I can be on the passenger uh, or next to the uh, passenger uh, bus door that opens up so this is kind of cool and uh, yeah let's let's do it let's uh, go ahead and let's drive around could be a lot of fun it really feels like as if you are uh, inside a inside a bus. Pretty cool, actually. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the stick shift on this one, so... Okay, I got it now. Here we go. We're gonna turn around this way, hold on. We're going to go this way. <laughs> oh man, this is hilarious. Okay, I got it now. Hopefully we can make it. All right, here we go. This is the slowest bus I have ever driven. Oh my God. This is hilarious. <laughs> We're inside a bus, can you believe that? I'm just like goofing around, but I felt like showing you this. It's kind of cool. No, you, you really feels like you're inside a bus, you know. Imagine Grand Theft Auto 6 like this, man. Uh, that'd be so cool. Well, you take a bus or you drive a bus. That'd be so awesome. And I have to say, they did a pretty good job with... Um, with the detail on this modification of this bus. Uh, it looks pretty, uh, pretty realistic to me. 
But those of you who live in Europe, I'm pretty sure you will recognize this. Uh, <laughs> but this is what I like about the PC. The PC has all these modifications that you can use. Um, I'm going to call this video, I don't know, Mr. Forkey's bus, whatever. Uh, Christmas uh, bus or something. It's a free ride. Everybody can join in. Anybody can come in, you know. The fair, it's free. You don't have to pay for it. Uh, everybody's welcome. But it is, it is kind of cool. <laughs> you kind of look around. But there's nobody inside a bus. Like, it's empty. Oh, man. Oh, it's still a red light. Oh my god, this is the longest red light I've ever seen. But imagine how cool it would be if they, uh, if Grand Theft Auto 6, it's virtual reality and you get to walk inside a bus like this or you get to drive a bus. It's so freaking cool, man. It feels real though, it feels really good. It feels like you're really inside a bus. <laughs> oh man. This is what I like about the PC, all these modifications that they have available that you can use, you know. I'm trying to kind of like simulate the real bus ride simulation. I don't know, something like that. Trust me, this looks much cooler when you put the VR headset. You know, a lot of people ask me, like, hey, is it really true that the VR gives you that? Yes, it does. But you have to put the VR headset on. You know, you can't just watch this video. You know, this video is going to give you some idea as to uh, what it looks like. But it's never going to give you that feeling of what it feels like. So, I don't know, uh, where, where, where are we going? I mean, we're just around the city, the old town, new town. Oh, look, there's a, is this a bus station? We'll pretend like this is a bus station. Yeah, it is. It's a bus station. Here we go. We're going to pretend like we're like, you know, letting people come in and out. <laughs> this is so weird. We'll just call it a ghost bus. No, no, I'm going to call this a ghost bus. It's what this is. It's a ghost. By the way, this is recorded in 4K VR. Uh, upscale to 4K VR. I'm trying to bring you guys everything in 4K before the Christmas, you know, a little 4K VR trip, you know, goodies, little Christmas goodies right here. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh my god. People ask me which one do I like better? Do I like Oculus Rift or HTC Vive? Listen, Oculus Rift all the way. Dude, the Oculus Rift is so better. In many respects, Oculus Rift. Uh, it feels lighter in, on your head. Uh, there's not that many cables. HTC Vive, man, it's just it's too heavy and it's too many cables. It's, it's too much everything. It just feels heavy. I don't like that. It's uncomfortable. You know, you want something that's comfortable. And Oculus Rift is probably is honestly the best. With the Oculus Rift, not only can you play all of your existing Steam VR games, but at the same time. You can also um, play the exclusive Oculus Rift games. And there's tons of exclusive Oculus Rift games. So in my, in my opinion, I think you get a far better deal with the, uh, with the Oculus Rift, in my opinion. This is so... This is so strange, man. It really feels like... 
you are here, but you're not really here. That, that's the kind of feeling you get. There's some Christmas, Christmas gifts over there. Cool. All right. I'm going to go this way. This guy's stopping. I don't know. Why is he not moving? By the way, there's no driver there. It's a ghost bus. Just so you guys know, this is a uh, ghost bus. And I like the attention to detail here on these buildings and everything. Uh, it really, you know, I've been saying it on my previous city uh, car driving thing, live streams that I did. I said, if developers are watching, there's so much they can do with this uh, IP. There's so much they can do with this game, with this engine. Uh, they can turn it into like a big sandbox where you can be a bus driver, you can be a cop, you could be a... Um, uh, Uber driver. I mean, there's so much they can do here. Honestly, if they uh, if they implement all of these features inside a game, that's what I would do if I was a developer, you know. But you really have the feeling like you are here, you know, inside the bus. I mean, I don't know how else to to put it for you. It really does have that feeling. I know some of you will appreciate this video. I know this video is not for everyone, but some of you will appreciate this little relaxing <clears throat> driving a bus type of a video where you're just like driving. Yeah. It's just go for a ride. It's a free ride, man. It's a ghost free ride or self-driving bus. I don't think we're going to, I don't know. So should we call it a self-driving bus or just a ghost bus? We'll call it a ghost bus. No, actually, you know what? Self-driving bus. That's what we're gonna call it. Empty self-driving bus. There you go. I think that's the perfect name for this video. It's a self, empty self-driving bus. Sounds good to me, right? Empty self-driving bus. Uh, the attention to detail is pretty cool, man. Uh, did a good job. Whoever uh, designed this bus did a pretty good job. I do have to say. You, you guys have to remember, this was green-lighted. This is an in the independent uh, studio. You gotta remember, these independent developers, there's only so much they can do. You know, all of this stuff takes a lot of money and effort and hard work for them to make. But hey, if they do, a, uh, you know, early, if they do something like backing them up, like you know, donations or whatever. You know, I'll be, you know, I'll be more than happy to sponsor them to help them out. You know, because I think there's so much potential here with this game that they can do. Honestly, they can turn this into like a little mini Grand Theft Auto. You know, seriously. If um, I think they should do like a fund me donation or something, where people can do it through Steam or through. Uh, some other outlets out there, whatever. And there's so many different mods, you know, there's so many different car mods. They got limo. Uh, one guy did a police car, the other dude did uh, another bus, truck, you know. But this one is my favorite. So how many of you actually have uh, virtual reality? I'm, I've always wondered, like, how many of you guys have actually tried virtual reality and, and what do you guys think? Um, I personally think virtual reality 
uh, it's here to stay and it's going to evolve you know I don't think it's going to necessarily die like some other people been saying it's it's not gonna die you know virtual reality has been in development for three decades it took it three decades for them to finally implement a virtual reality uh, but I think it's going to evolve it's gonna evolve to the point where you're really gonna feel like uh, you remember that Keanu Reeves movie Johnny Benomic or whatever Johnny something M um, that movie it's gonna feel like that like you're really gonna be inside and you're gonna feel like you're really in this world and that's gonna be so bizarre that's gonna be so weird it's gonna be like a matrix like you enter into a different dimension different world and I think we're not that far off man but that's gonna be trippy uh, I think VR can 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 and I think it will go to the, some very trippy um, trippy places look at this guy oh come on dude Seriously, it's a green light. Flowers. Look at these apartments and, and uh, buildings that they designed. Looks pretty good. Oh, you want to get in? There we go. I'm pretending this is a bus station. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to bring you this a little bit so you guys can look at it and check it out, you know. Like you said, uh, Gosh, man, there's so many ideas you can do with the virtual reality. There's so many things you can do, uh, especially with this game. I think there's so much they could do if they uh, put some effort into uh, adding some extra content, extra mods, you know, like a bus driver or a Uber driver or stuff like that. I could definitely see Uber driver and bus driver or limo driver to be implemented into this game I think there's a lot they can do here So what do you guys think? I'm, I'm really kind of curious to hear what do you guys think about this, you know? What are your thoughts on uh, virtual reality and Grand Theft Auto 6? And do you guys think the Grand Theft Auto 6 could be uh, or should be in VR? I personally think Grand Theft Auto 6 should be in VR. And I think the best way to, to live in that world, to experience that world, it's through VR, honestly. And I think this is just one example, one technical demo of what can be possible with uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 VR, honestly. So anyway, I'm going to call this video um, Empty self-driving bus city car driving also remember this is in a 4k vr it's not a real 4k but it's uh nonetheless it's upscaled to 4k so it's a qhd source upscaled to 4k and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this
So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, look at this guy, the way he's pulling out. Unbelievable. Let's pass him by. Uh, look, and now he's speeding up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, right here on this circle, I'm gonna go ahead and park this, uh, park this bus. This is going to be the, like a bus station or something, I guess. We'll do it right over here. We'll do it right over here. Like right here. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, happy holidays. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I wanted to bring you guys something different. You know, the thing with my channel is I always try to bring you something different. I don't want to do the same thing over and over again. I want to show you something interesting, something cool. Uh, that's what I try to do, man. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. And uh, like I said, I'm going to see you soon. This will be my last video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, let me know what you think leave a comment let me know what you guys think you know how what do you guys feel about the vr do you think the grand theft auto 6 should be in vr and stuff like that so anyway just let me know all right guys well thank you for watching cheers